Hey there, Alex Kidman and the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 12 mini have just arrived on my review desk so I thought I'd do a quick unboxing. Now if you watch my unboxing of the 12 Pro and 12, I'm not really expecting too many surprises here. The big thing this year of course is that these are much much thinner boxes because there's no power adapters and there's no headphones in them. Apple's cut those out on environmental grounds, your positioning on that may of course vary. So let's tackle the big lad first. This is the 12 Pro Max. And look, honestly, I think these are actually the more interesting of the 12 phones because they're the big and the small models. Like well, that box. Mind you, I do like Apple's packaging generally. So we open her up. This is the gold model. That should be fairly obvious anyway. Uh, and uh, yeah, that is a big, big phone. Now, one of the things that may not come across too well on video is that Apple's actually changed its gold color. So it's a lot more reflective, a lot more kind of, I guess you'd call it 24 karat gold, that kind of thing. But still, that's a very, very familiar looking style there. Triple lens should be the best camera. Obviously, I'll have to test that and find out. And otherwise in the box, yeah, it's very much the same story that we saw with the 12 and 12 Pro, you get a USB-C to lightning cable, you get a little slip which, and somewhere in and amongst this lot, there's probably a SIM tool, and that's going to be your lot. So, let's bounce on, moving plastic out of the way, to the Mini. So, Mini, of course. Well, heck, <laughs> that probably tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? And the Mini is the little lad, of course. Uh, slightly cheaper, although of course not the cheapest of Apple's 2020 iPhones. That's still the SE 2020. We might have a quick look at that shortly. So let's slide this one open. And this is the basic blue model. That is nice and small. Now I'm someone who quite likes having small powerful phones and there hasn't been too many of those around in recent years. Most people have tended to prefer that larger form factor, but yeah. It's a nice looking thing, just the dual camera array, because this is basically the iPhone 12 in a smaller body. I am left wondering about the battery life that this thing's going to have, but again, I'll have to test that more thoroughly. And again, you get the standard USB-C to lightning cable in the box. I don't know what more, how much more I can say. What I can, of course, now do, though, is I can actually lay out all of this year's phones here, because I can put shuffle those out of the way. Joy of doing live video, but uh, I can put the 12 there, and then with a little bit of shuffling, I can bring in the, tw the sorry, the 12 Pro Max there. Sorry, 12 Pro Max. Then I can bring in the 12 Pro there, sliding next to it the identically sized, of course, 12, and you then get the 12 Mini, and right next to it because it still did come out this year, you can throw in the iPhone SE 2020, which of course, amusingly, is a little bit bigger than the Mini. So that's your range, that's your choice, that's what you can pick for. I had better get to testing these, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.